Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another update for my whole collection of Project Pan. It hasn't been very long since I updated this project last, but I keep trying to scoop my updates forward um, little by little to try and get back on track. This project was created by Becky Loves Kanga and she's always linked in my description box along with a few other people who are doing this project as well. We have kind of a collab going if you will. We're not all uploading on the same day or anything like that but we're all doing this project and each of us does it a little bit differently. <laughs> Domino is trying to sniff the camera. What are you doing? You can't knock all my stuff off. <laughs> what are you doing? In this project, I randomize 10 items from my entire beauty stash, um, like more than just makeup, and set various goals. Lately, I've been sticking with kind of the 10 uses goals because that is what's working best for me for rotating through my collection. Because while I do have panning goals this year that I'm not really meeting and I really should kind of push for those before the end of the year, <laughs> I am just finding the most joy uh, from rotating through my entire collection, touching more things, and this completely random project really helps me reach for things I maybe am not organically. What are you doing? Anyways. <laughs> Let's just hop into the update, shall we? We go in the order of things that have been in for the longest. And the first is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. Um, my goal is to finish this. Every month I say I think I'm super close. It hasn't changed visually at all. However, I have used this 13 times in the last, since the last update, and that makes a total of 34 uses since I put it in this project and it hasn't changed at all. I hoped that would be finish, finished um, for this update, but it wasn't. Next up, I have my ColourPop lip liner in the shade Lumiere. My goal is to finish this as well, though realistically that's not going to happen. I just want to keep making steady progress on this. I do have it like sketched out in my little notebook and we are making the most minimal of visible progress possible. I used this five times in the last month for a total of 15 uses since putting it into this project. I, I'm just going to keep using it. I don't know what to tell you. Wow, so far we're getting through this pretty fast. Next, I have the Finding Ferdinand Knob Hill Red Lipstick. My goal is to use this five times. I've used it two times since the last update for a total of three out of five uses. This is a very vibrant pinky red shade and it doesn't really go with everything. So only two more uses. I will do that for the next update. And another lip product that I haven't used at all, I don't think. Let me see. I did use it one time. That's very surprising to me. This is Ofra Havana Nights. And again, my goal is to use this five times because it is such a bold shade. I need to use this four more times, but this is a great fall lip. I do really enjoy this liquid lipstick and it just wasn't something I was reaching for in like July and August. So now is this product's time to shine. Wouldn't it be so great if I could roll both of these out next time? That's a lot of bold lips, but I might be able to do it. Next, I have the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Fru Fru. Eyeshadow is not something I want to be focusing on in this project pan. So I, again, I had a five use goal on this and I have met that goal. I reached for this three times. Why am I so confused? I reached for this three times since the last update, bringing me to five total uses in this project. This is an ultra glitter shade. It's that formula of super shock shadows is not my favorite. It's just a nice topper. It was like a bluish purple shade. I'm happy I got five uses on it, but again, eyeshadow is not something I want to focus on in this project. 
I forgot to mark this, so I will do so and pop in a picture. This is the First Aid Beauty Pores Be Gone primer and my goal is to finish this. Again, that's not going to happen by the end of the year, but I just want to make consistent great progress on this until the end of the year. And then maybe I can have myself set up really well to finish this in 2023. I did reach for this only five times since the last update for a total of 11 uses in this project. That isn't going to <laughs> get me to the end of this in the near future that's for sure so I'm not chatting so much who's surprised I am tired and I don't want to have super long videos every single time I sit down to film next I have the rare beauty liquid highlighter in the shade mesmerize it's this beautiful rose gold kind of shade my goal is to use this 10 times I used it three times since the last update for a total of four uses six more to go once again this is really beautiful and I wish I could use it more wish I could use it more I'm really focusing on my Becca liquid opal that liquid highlighter trying to have that be an actual empty so nine times out of ten that's an exaggeration I am purposely reaching for the Becca over this one though they're both in projects I hope that makes sense next I have the Tarte blush in the shade feisty again a 10 use goal on this I've used it three times since the last update for a total of six uses so four more to go just keep trucking along blush is hard for me to focus on because I love blush so so much last month I rolled in two products first was the ColourPop gradual tanner again 10 use goal on this I hope to use this more than once per week but I've only used this twice in the last less than a month uh, and I really do need to apply this now more than ever. Now that we're coming into fall and I'm outside less, it's also cooling down and it's less sunny and blah, blah, blah. I want to maintain a bit of the tan I achieved over the summer. I already feel like my tan is fading and I want to keep it topped up with this. So I should be more mindful of using this just period, but also to meet my 10 use goal. And lastly, I have my Cover FX face palette. I specifically rolled in the shade Moonbeam, which is this brightener shade right here. And I've only used this one out of my 10 uses so far, and I mixed it with this highlighter, which is in the shade Divine, uh, to have more of like a pinky highlight. I do like that this is able to like lighten other highlights up, because I do have quite a few highlighters in my collection that are a bit too deep for me. So I will get lots of use out of this. When I did that, I reached for these two highlighters as well as the blush. So I love having face palettes in this project, but that's not rolling out. So I'm only rolling out one thing, but I wanna roll two numbers because I only have one more use left on this pink lipstick. And I'm just itching to roll in two things. I might regret that, but it's fine. I am feeling in a good mood and I love randomizing products from my collection. So let's just do that. Um, the only thing that we are maxed out on, we are maxed out on highlighters as well as lipsticks and tanning products and lip liners because I don't want to work on more than one lip liner or tanning product. I have in the numbers two to 498. I have excluded eyeshadows this time because I just redid my Panthos eyeshadows and switched that up a bit and I'm just I've had enough of eyeshadows right now so we have 427 and 205 427 is a nail polish and 205 is a lipstick so I'm going to re-roll for that one we have 247 and that is a blush, which is fair game. All right, I am keeping this update pretty short. I'm proud of myself. So the nail polish I got is from Sabella. It needs to be shaken up more. It's kind of settled at the bottom. This is in the shade Jade. My goal on this will be five uses, which is gonna be a stretch for me already. 
but it is very beautiful. More of a spring shade, but that's okay. And the last item or the extra item I just rolled in with the hopes that I'll be done with this lipstick very shortly is a blush from my e.l.f. blush palette. This is the light blush palette. This is very old in my collection and very neglected so I'm happy to be using it and it was the first shade which is this bright pink. I have been eyeballing Dior, Rosie, whatever dupes. Like I'm not gonna one pay Dior prices and two Dior is not cruelty free. Um, anyways I was looking at dupes and this looks kind of similar. What do you think? I don't know. I kind of like it. I'm going to use, get 10 uses on that guy. I also think that this is a really cute fall blush. And I'm probably get use out of both of those. The cat is driving me nuts. But yes, I'm very happy to pull out some more very neglected products in my collection, which is why I love this project so much. So I'm actually very proud of myself for keeping this relatively short and sweet. Let's chat goals for next time. I have quite a few things that are very close. This eyeshadow primer, I say every single month. I hope next month it will be empty, but I just use this every single day, except for today actually, um, when I do my eyeshadow. So. One more use on this lipstick. Four more uses on this lipstick. That might be pushing it, but I will try my best. Four more uses on this, this blush. That should be doable. And I think, so these are the four contenders. I don't think I'll have four rollouts next month, but I will definitely push for these four. This one, I'm kind of counting out already and replaced it with the blush if that makes sense um, so we wouldn't be rolling in four things anyways but potentially three how are you guys doing on your project pan thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel if you were curious about today's makeup look and didn't see my last video on this channel should have been a full face of it's just Steph's favorite and I filmed this makeup look for that. I'm very happy with how it turned out. If you did enjoy today's project pan update, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you go and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.